There. Done. Pleasure doing business with you. I hope we have a long and warm relationship. Evans. The board's been waiting for you for uh, 45 minutes. Ah, oh, it's all right. They can wait. They're adults, aren't they? Good morning. I trust you had a restful morning. Gentlemen, no need to patronize or pamper me. You know what I'm here to say. I'm swallowing all of our affiliates as of, well, two hours ago. Do you know how many people you're going to put out of work? About as many as if I'd let these companies go bankrupt. Well, as long as I'm on this board, I'm not going to let that happen. You're fired. It's done. This conversation is over. Mr. Evans, aren't you on lunch break? In six minutes. You want to start early? It can wait. You should get that. You still work for me. Mr. Evans' office. Oh, it's your wife. Tilda! Yeah, sure. Of course I'm coming home sometime. Hey, now don't. Don't start talking to me like that. It makes me think you're ungrateful. Don't you ever forget that the only reason we are still together is because I can afford the best lawyer in the country. Hey, Wally. Bye. It's Mr. Evans to you. You don't need to swallow the affiliates. Yes, I do. For you, maybe. Fair enough. We all have a greedy streak, don't we? I know you didn't get to the top by honest means. Really? And I can, by opening my mouth, take you down. Six years is too long for someone like you to be running this economy. Well, we're not all perfect, are we? I need my ride. Yeah, I'll remember this. It's the first time in six years you've been late. Six years. Six years. Six years is too long for someone like you. Six years. Six years. Six years. No. No, leave me alone. Wait, sorry guys, I didn't mean to rush in. I'm just looking for my coffee. No, oh, I'm... Wait, wait. I got a wife and four kids, you son of a bitch. I was on your assembly line. Wait, guys, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Look, here, here's my wallet. Take it. <laughs> Turns out, not a lot of people liked you. Seems like today your guardian angel thought was your time. <gasps> I'm not what a lot of people say I am. Actually, you are. Or don't. <laughs> hey, we gotta get out of here, come on. <laughs> Six years. Can you feel it? The darkness. Not darkness like the sun's gone down. No, it's not the light that's gone away. It's darkness because you've put yourself into a box and closed the lid. I'm here to collect my box.
and I'm here to ensure the box is not his to collect. No, no one is going to collect anything. I'm Walter Evans, owner and CEO. You were. Who are you? Please, you know me. When you told your first lie to your mother, I was there. Then you remember the deal. Six years and then you leave me alone. You had six quite satisfactory years if you ask me. And then I walked out of your life as we agreed. Then let me go now. You've got your six years. You're done with me. He is never done with you, Walter. If it were that easy, my presence here would be unnecessary. But he has laid claim to you. Your time has been spent. Your choices made. I always felt there was an unspoken understanding that given the life of luxury I made possible, by the time you did die, you'd be mine forever. When you took advantage of his offer, you destroyed your conscience and paved the road already marked out by him. I did it for the right reason. I needed to feed my family. And everything I did after that was for the sake of good, wholesome business. That's news to me. Let them take the damn house, you stupid bitch! Get a job! Deal with your own damn problems for once! Since I'd work for the devil. <sighs> Looks like I picked a good day to be in town. I've watched your entire life. I've suffered with you. I've suffered because of you. Where were you to help me? He was there. He was always there. It was so easy to go his way. Where were you? I was right beside you. You did not see me because you chose not to. You wanted to see him and him alone. You did not want another way out. Six years of whatever I want. I'm a man of my word. And after that time you'll leave me alone? For the rest of your natural life. No! I see you didn't go to work today. Oh, it's all right. They won't miss me. They don't tell me what to do anyway. That's great. Things are looking good, though. Who would have known it a year ago? Oh, I don't know. I think we were doing just fine. What did you say? Oh, oh, her? Oh, look, she's really a sweet girl. Huh? Don't judge her before you know her. Oh, I'm not judging her. Enjoy your breakfast. You always appreciated her cooking so much. You know, it's fortunate for her that marriage only binds until death and not beyond. And what about the girl? Did she ever hear from you again? She would be teaching right now and married. Instead, she's scratching in enough money to feed your son, who you never cared to wonder about. When I agreed to accept that offer, you told me my actions would have no consequences. No consequences for you. 
You never cared about everyone else. Evans, sit down. I've considered your promotion, but I'm afraid I just got too many applications for it. I don't want your damn promotion. I'm taking your job. <laughs> what? If you give me any trouble, I will release these folders to the public, who will then demand your resignation. And to make it all legal, a substantial settlement. We're done talking. <laughs> Wholesome business. Did it never occur to you? You could have achieved the same power and wealth through honest means without going out of your way to damn yourself. I didn't tell you to blackmail honest working men out of their hard-earned places. Admit it, it was your choice. <sighs> Why did you give me so much? Just, just so I could lose everything. Six years is too long for someone like you to be running this economy. Well, we're not all perfect, are we? You don't give yourself enough credit. You're a human soul. If one's not worth the trouble, why bother at all? But it's a bad salesman who doesn't put everything he has into making that individual sale. And me? <laughs> I'm the king of salesmen. I admit, my sins are mine. You heard him. This one's mine. No, not yet. Why delay? <laughs> There's still hope for him. He's not fully lost to us yet. Yeah, I need my ride. If there was anything you could have done for him, you would have already done it. He's right. It's too late for me to change. I'm dead. No. You're not. But not like a lot of people say I actually you are. Perfect. Or don't. You've cheated me. No. There's a fine line between death and life. In death, yes, he would have been yours. In life, he would have never learned by himself. The line had to be walked. Where is your honor? I'll be there. What now? What will I do? That is up to you. But I will be there. Watch for me.